Tracy, I'm so sick of my hair. I'm sick of these lace fronts. I'm sick of the weave. I'm sick of the glue. I think I'm going to do something new for the new year. So what are you trying to say? I think I'm going to go now. I would never cut my hair. Mm -mm. Girl, look at it. It's so long and beautiful. I can't do it. I mean, but how long can long and beautiful be cute? Nobody's going to like me if my hair is short and, and nappy. Nappy? What's wrong with nappy hair? Up under that hat, I bet you got a whole bunch of nappies. Yeah. Nope. Girl, it's only so long that you can keep wearing this mess in your hair. I promise you, I'm losing so much hair and it's costing me lots of money. You know what they say. You don't have it. Buy it. Yeah, well, I got it. And I think it's time for me to do something about it. I'm cutting all of my hair out, Tracy, for the new year. We'll see how that's going to work out. Good luck. But I'm keeping my long hair. Well, you can keep it, but it's only so much you can do with it. I mean, can you imagine at night with your man trying to lay up with him and your hair comes off? I'm tired of that. <laughs> you better not touch my hair. Well, Trey has gotten used to not touching my hair, too. And he hasn't seen my real hair up under this wig in some years. I'm tired, Tracy. I really am. Well, let's see how it works out with you. I might think about it, but I'm just loving my hair. I love my hair. Well, January 1st, you'll see a new Alicia. Bye-bye weave, hair colors, dye, spritz, perms, and anything else that can damage my hair. I'm done. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I finally did it. I love it. I really love my hair. Woo! I can't wait till Tracy sees it. She's supposed to be here by now. Oh my goodness, it's Tracy, it's Tracy, it's Tracy. Oh my gosh, Alicia, look at your hair. I know. I love it so much. You really like it, Tracy, for real? Don't play. Yes, I do. I love it. it even makes me want to think about doing it. Tracy, I really think you should. I got a lot of info off the web, especially YouTube. This one girl named Shari J, the bomb. Oh, I heard about her. Yeah, she is. Um, but, I don't know. I'm just I'm a little self-conscious about, you know, this short. It looks great on you. I don't think I can do it, though. Tracy, trust me. Just try it. You don't even have to big chop like I did. You can transition, which means that you basically slowly just cut off all the perm in your hair. I mean... Try it, Tracy. I mean, what could go wrong? Well, we'll see. But you do look great. I am so jealous now. Oh my gosh, it's like it's a new you. Come on, Tracy. I'm going to show you the way. The Raw Cafe began as a very successful gourmet raw food meal delivery service in 2007 and has since established a physical location at 4160 Woodward Avenue at the corner of Willis Street in Detroit, Michigan. Raw food tastes incredible and you can dine in or take out any of the gourmet living meals. Today's Hair It Is topic comes from Dr. Oz's special, The Dangers of Hair Straighteners, specifically Brazilian blowouts. This treatment that can cost up to $500 transforms frizzy and kinky hair into straight and luscious locks. But after customers complain of nosebleeds and trouble breathing, a health agency in Oregon tested the solution and found significant levels of formaldehyde, which is a known carcinogen. After hearing these warnings, some salon owners require their stylists and customers to wear gas masks when applying this product or apply this product in an open air courtyard equipped with specialized ventilators. Would you get a Dominican blowout knowing all the risks involved? Here's our thoughts. Okay, now would I do the Dominican blowout? No, me personally I wouldn't do it just because I'm trying to you know, have my hair healthy 
and I'm not trying to harm it. I really don't even put feet in my hair, so um, I'll pass on that. Well, I definitely will not do a Dominican blowout. I feel like we know of all the harsh chemicals we put in our hair, and if we do blow out certain things, and you know, just for in a perfect world, or maybe just to have your hair just a little bit more curly and not kinky, it's like just accept your hair the way it is. It's not going to do what you want. It's your hair. Hair has a lot of things on. Now that it's a new year, everybody wants to lose or improve something in their lives. And we're no different. Here's our wellness goals for 2011. My main focus, well let me start off saying when I first did the big chop, which was July the 10th, I was a little curl obsessed, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, but now I'm, my main focus is on healthy hair, well moisturized hair, and hair that lasts at least four to five days. So what I'm gonna try to do is um, work on a kind of strict regimen um, with my hair. Um, washing it once or twice a month because you know you don't need all that in your hair. I'm going to try to condition my hair, um, pre poo once a week. If that, you know, your hair really doesn't need that. My hair really doesn't like it, loves water, but it doesn't like to be stripped all the time and um, sweat and conditioned all the time. So that's what my main goal is for 2011 just the moisture of my hair and being able to achieve four to five day um, hair. I also wanted to try to consume more water. I don't drink enough water and I know, I know, I know, I know. I can tell it in my skin. Um, I did stop smoking around seven months ago, so I can really tell in my skin that it's improving. Um, and I think I need to, I know I need to add water to my diet to supplement um, my non-water intake from the past couple of years. <laughs> well, my health and wellness goals are Well, those of you who are subscribed to my channel and watch all of my videos, or some of them, 
said I have been trying to do this wig since forever. So I'm trying to nip it in the butt this year definitely. Uh, a little self promotion, three month challenge, one to run it. Okay? And so I'm definitely going to get into it and, and start and actually join it with everyone else who's joining it this year. Um, I'm actually joining something with a couple of my friends here. I always say accountability, accountability, but it really starts with yourself. You can't really have someone else trying to play with you. Because if you don't want to do it, you're not going to do it. And I've never did it. Okay? So I'm really hoping that this works this time. Um, my hair glow, I always do this up to start and I don't really have a problem with gaining length, but if I want to get to brush shot length, which I really do want to get to brush shot length, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing. More perspective styling, uh, deep conditioning treatments every week. My hair also loves water. I wash my hair once a week. And hopefully uh, that will continue to grow my hair. Shea Moisture's Moisture Retention Shampoo, and I think that's a keeper. I like Giovanni's Smooth and Silk Deeper Moisture Conditioner. I like Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In. Uh, for styling, I like Activator Pure Whipped Hair Jelly, and I love Extra Virgin Coconut Oil and Olive Oil. As far as compliments or things people say about my hair, um, they ask me how did I get it like this? Are you just doing it to see how long you can do it and then you're gonna straighten it? Or, you know, just crazy random stuff. Uh, my grandma likes to say that I look like Angela Davis. I guess maybe because she said she went to high school with her. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but um, a lot of people like it though. I get more positive comments, compliments than negative. As far as compliments or things people say about my hair, um, they ask me how did I get it like this? Are you just wanting to see how long you can do it and then you're going to straighten it? Or, you know, just crazy random stuff. Uh, my grandma likes to say that I look like Angela Davis. I guess maybe because she said she went to high school with her. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but, um... A lot of people like it though. I get more positive comments, compliments than negative ones. And now it's time to feature the natural Lisa of the day. Each week we're going to feature a natural woman who are doing something positive for the natural hair community online or in the city of Detroit. Today's guest is Lakita McCauley, the owner of the Rafu Cafe in Midtown Detroit and also the author of Taking Every Bite Seriously. Natural Beauties in the City. Uh, this is Lakita McCauley. Um, we're coming to you live from the Raw Cafe today. The Raw Cafe is an organic cuisine, a juice bar. We are raw, we're vegan, we're natural. And that's what we're here to talk about today. Uh, that natural beauties are served by natural diets. They're served by natural environments. They're served by natural and not chemicals and not pesticides and not preservatives. So we just want to let you know today that in order to have radiant skin, we've got to have a diet that produces radiant skin. In order to have beautiful natural hair, you've got to have a diet that produces beautiful natural hair. We don't have to uh, have permanence anymore. Uh, I have uh, been approximately three years without a perm. I flat iron my hair. Uh, I don't use uh, chemical laced soaps. I use alkalizing soaps. Um, I don't use uh, uh, any types of uh, uh, conditioners at all. And I've got natural hair. And so with that natural hair comes inside out. So um, 
I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Again, uh, my name is Lakita McCauley, and I want to start off by saying I am a cancer survivor. Uh, in 2004, I had a cancer diagnosis, and I changed my diet. I started taking every bite seriously. And so in doing that, I did not uh, allow myself to have chemotherapy. I did not do radiation. I did not do tamoxifen. And I have a, a clean bill of health now. It says uh, on my last report, no evidence of cancer. At the three year and at the six year, no evidence of cancer. And that is a result of a natural living foods diet. So it's not just uh, being natural for beauty's sake, that's a byproduct of what we get, but being natural for health's sake as well. Because cancer rates are skyrocketing, and we all know somebody who has cancer or some sort of degenerative condition. And so, in order to uh, minimize our risk, we've got to start thinking about what we take in. And the raw vegan diet is composed of beautiful, delicious food. And it looks like the food that we're accustomed to eating. For example, at the Raw Cafe here, we have what we call a raw burger and, and onion rings. That raw burger is made out of walnuts and portobello mushrooms and onions and garlic and herbs and spices. Those spices that you would find in a regular hamburger, so it tastes the same way. We have ice cream that is made out of cashews. It tastes better than the brand name ice creams that are out there, and it's much better for you as well. Cheesecake. Uh, made out of, of, of cashews. It's non-dairy. We have natural sweeteners that are organic and raw and alive. In the book Taking Every Bite Seriously, we attempt to identify the types of foods that will help you in your journey to optimal health. If your goal is skin care, you look into Taking Every Bite Seriously, and everything is categorized, as you can see. We've got 400 fresh fruits, vegetables, herbs, nuts, and seeds, and we've got the studies in the back of this book that prove what the researchers and what the doctors are saying around the world about the power of food to heal disease, about the power of food to magnify beauty, about the power of food to even our skin tone. Again, to give us radiant uh, skin and, and beautiful, long, manageable hair. So if you look at the book Taking Every Bite Seriously, um, as you can see here, we've got we've turned to the section on plums. And plums are good as a laxative. They reduce cholesterol levels. They're also good for uh, osteoporosis. They're good for the flu, influenza. And they are also uh, just a tremendous uh, tool to have in your diet. On the next page, you'll see pineapples. Pineapples are anti-inflammatory. So while we're going around looking for anti-inflammatory drugs, we can actually substitute those for, and for foods that have anti-inflammatory properties, like the pineapples. So again, you want to get a copy of Taking Every Bite Seriously. You can find it at Amazon.com. You can also find it at the Raw Cafe website. So go to click on the Raw Cafe, and then click on uh, uh, the Raw Store, and you'll find not only Taking Every Bite Seriously, but once you've gotten control of your diet, and I have a natural, cool, living foods diet, you want to take control of your environment. So another book that you'll find available that we've authored is called Living Green. It allows you to take control of what's happening in your home that may be affecting your health. There are toxins that you will find in the carpet that you're walking on. Uh, you will find the vapors that are coming out of the drywall. And so we have solutions that are cost effective that you can use to health proof your environment so that you can have optimal health in the home. Because a lot, a lot of times we don't even open the windows to let the bad air out. So we've got to learn how to do that as well. So again, uh, we invite you to come out to the Raw Cafe Detroit when you're in the area, you natural beauties. Uh, and natural beauties are male, their natural beauties are female. They come in every hue and color. They come from every creed and every walk of life. You natural viewers, come into the Raw Cafe and also get a copy of this book, Taking Every Bite Seriously. If you're not from Detroit and can't make it to the Raw Food Cafe, Marquise is going to tell you about some foods that can help you maintain healthy hair. Spinach like Swiss chard is an excellent source of vitamin A and C, which your body needs to produce sebum. Beans, yes beans, 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 they're good for your heart. The more you eat, the more your hair starts to grow. <laughs> no, but really, beans such as kidney and lentils are very important parts of your hair diet. They provide plentiful protein that helps provide great hair growth. Beans also have ample iron, zinc, and biotin. Biotin deficiencies can result in brittle hair. 
Don't you just go nutty over really thick and shiny, healthy hair? I know I do. Brazil nuts are one of nature's best sources of psyllium, a very important mineral for the health of your scalp. Other nuts like cashews, pecans, and almonds are very high in zinc. Zinc deficiencies can lead to hair shedding. Today's TWA spotlight comes from our viewer Shana. She big chopped in August 2010. This was actually her third time going around in the past 15 years. She decided to go natural because her hair was just thinning and she was tired of being straight. Sean, I just want to commend you on doing the big chop. Um, your hair looks gorgeous. I always find that black women always look good natural. Um, I always see the before and after pictures and I always like you see the true beauty in the black women with natural hair. So I commend you. Congrats. Shana, congrats on your natural hair. I think it suits you, it fits you well, and you look wonderful. Yes, Shana, you look amazing. I mean, I know we're all saying it, but it, it really is true. I just want to see you on the big top. I honestly just have the courage to do it, but you look great, and I'm sure you get confidence all the time. Congratulations. You look great, Shana. Last but not least, here's our hot link of the day. The first ever natural hair undated calendar that also turns into a keepsake hair album is a visual hair playground designed to inspire, nurture, and guide you along a loving natural hair journey. After being available for only four days, this calendar sold out but will be restocked on January 12th. Until then, go get your free monthly natural hair calendar that you can print out at naturalhaircalendars.com. For my hair today, I blow dried it. I use uh, Jane Carter's leave in condition, sprayed it on, Sedaba Shea Moisture, applied it all over my hair, and I blow dried it all on a warm heat setting, and uh, just left it, put the FK in it. What I did to my hair is I did like 20 twists, flat twists all around my head. I left them in for two days, so actually I had a little protector style going on. And I used Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie, the Curl Milk, and some coconut oil. It's like my three things that I would really love to use right now. Um, and I just took them out, I added a little oil to my hand, and I took them out. I pinned down to the front to give me a little illusion of a little bang. I just um, flat twisted my hair on the sides and on the back and I actually just, uh, these are the twists that I just pin down into a certain style and I used aloe vera gel, shea butter and um, today I just added some coconut oil on it and that's it. I'm gonna be yours, go to heaven, go to shopping, go to yours, shopping, I can do it, I'm gonna be yours, go to heaven.